Hello, welcome to my 2024 photo book binder overview. Uh, we're just going to go over my two binders that I have. This is my Stray Kids binder and this is my All of the Groups binder. Um, and just to preface, these mostly are just my pulls. Um, I don't really buy photo cards. Um, it's not one of my priorities. But I just want to go over them. Just um, I know some people are curious. Um, but here they are. I know they are not cute or anything, but I slowly decorate this one and then I'm going to get to this one eventually. But let's just get started. Okay, first we are going to start off with my Stray Kids binder. Um, I just got this one from school, I'll be honest. So, just very plain, very boring. Um, but it is huge. And it just barely holds all of my Stray Kids content. So, I just have, I don't know what I have over here. I just have random Rockstar photo cards over here. And let's just get started. So I'm just having it big and wide just so you guys can see. Um, and then obviously, I just want to say, if you notice that there's like some missing cards, you probably know why. Um, so just in the beginning, like there's one here missing, one there missing. You probably can put the, you know, two and two together. So super cool. And there's a bunch even that I've traded or just sold in general. Um, just because I have duplicates, so my binder, I'd say, is kind of boring, other than I have been standing um, Stray Kids since the beginning, so I do have some of those pre-order cards, nothing, you know, crazy, but, so yeah, so I think some of the ones that are standing out here are probably, like, this Felix card, and then these Stay in London ones, um, I know those go pretty high in price, um, I also mix in my Japanese ones, um, so I try to do it as much as possible um, through, like, the album that they come out and then the concepts. So I'll have concepts and then go through um, oldest to youngest. So that's sort of how I organize mine, but it's kind of messy either way. So I try not to. I know there's some ones where I'm like, I only got I in this comeback, you know. So I know red lights... Chan pulled him naturally um <laughs> so there's like a couple of here you know that I'm like okay I know they're on people's watch list so, super cool I also am still organizing them so eventually I want to move out these like sets into a different binder um so I could just have purely like photo card albums or just purely like other you know merch um photo cards in a different binder, but right now they're all mixed together. We've got an ordinary where we have 30,000 pages of those trading cards. And here we have the signed ones by Changbin and Sungmin. Um, my prized possessions, as always, you know. Some of them, you can tell that I, I particularly enjoy if I have like a special sort of sleeve over them. Not all of them have it. I just... You know, eventually, sometimes I'll get some and I'll just pop them on. Just for fun. So, I don't say that I really, you know, I don't go out of my way to buy everything Stray Kids. But, I mean, the major things, like their season's greetings. Um, I try to have at least one version of each one of their Japanese albums. So, just like, I collect what I think is good enough for me. Um, I'm not going out and buying anything. Just because I think enough is it like you know I get enough just by opening albums and stuff like that so it's pretty nice oh, let's stick that one back in the only ones that I've been trying to collect recently is that I know um, for five star I got all the hand ones so for rockstar it's been on my plan to hopefully get all of those but not that I have a very good start on that um my rockstar pools were absolute trash if you saw all those videos um, that I posted. So my rock star is a little bare, a little plain, but we make do. I know, but so like, yeah, I only have three of them, so I'm like not even halfway there. Um, and then technically I got these in 2023, even though they're 2024 season's greetings. And then back here, I just have my extras to sell eventually. 
And now we get onto the Icon ones, which are, I'm just going to flip through those real quickly because there's a bajillion of these. But you get the idea. Like, eventually I want to have these in a sub of binder. Um, I know they come with a binder, but I don't feel safe putting them in there. Um, and then I have just my one set of Nacific. They're the only ones I ever bought. So, so that's that. That's my Stray Kids binder. Super not interesting at all, but I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let's go on to my next one. Okay, so this binder contains any other of my groups. This one's literally, again, just a binder that I had from school. Um, I just have some random things, freebies here. Um, so yeah, it's my 17 collection because I tried to collect a bunch of 17 as much as possible, you know. I try to have all their albums at least. Um, day six, of course old groups Astro so I sort of put them in order of like I guess well the ones I stand to you know the ones I least stand so it's sort of like you know eventually I add more to the front than I add to the back um, just because I stand them more so I get more of their albums obviously my prized possession this photo card Junhan so beautiful have BT. Oh, I like keeping these like open ones just because I know I'm gonna be collecting them. Um, and then back here is sort of where I'm like, I'm probably not gonna buy albums from them soon, so I just keep those open. Um, my BTS ones, I have some other ones, but they were like Polaroids and stuff like that from BTS. Um, and they're somewhere else and I don't know where they are, so but I have more. Um, here's some signed ones from, I never know how to pronounce their name. I don't know if it's Six or C-I-X, but here they are, <laughs> signed. Came in my Woods collection. So I also have it up here as boy groups, and then um, right here we're going into boy men, like sol soloist. So not that I have many, it's just Woods and Taemin, I believe. Yeah, so... <laughs> Not very interesting. Um, and then here we go into twice. Some of these are like freebies, like these two. I don't actually have the albums, but I got them as freebies. So, you know, gotta enjoy them while I can. Um, twice collection. So my twice collection, um, the newest twice album just dropped last night. And my albums, my signed albums have just shipped. So I'm like, I need to make this video before those come in. Itsy. It's pretty. Also, don't come at me. I did cut this like ticket thing because I just thought it would look better in my photo card than just like being shoved in the um, album. My NMX collection. And this is where um go over here somewhere. I do have NMX's new album, but I just haven't fixed it in here because I know I'm gonna get um the Seraphims and um, twice as new album, so I'm just gonna wait until I get those to fix this whole back part. I have my True the Velvet albums and then new jeans. They always give you the set. Promise Nine. Um, the Seraphim. This one I actually had in the back of my other phone, my new phone, um, and I had to pull it out so I could show you guys in the binder. It's cute. Pink. And then here we go on to female soloist. So we have Naomi and Jihyo and Chunga. Sumi, Sumi, and yeah, here's Signed Henna. And then back here again, it's just random photo cards. And then here I just have a bunch of freebies. Again, nothing really interesting. These are just ones that I usually get from like concerts. Those are for my Crocs. Um, or just, like, when I place orders and stuff like that. So just, like, random things back here. So, but that's everything. I hope you enjoyed a little flip through of my photo book binders. Um, and that's everything for this year. I hope to see you next year where hopefully I don't collect too many, too many things. Because I'm trying to save money. But we'll see. Alright, thank you so much. Bye-bye.